This is the question in which we have to discuss the quantity of composite function. In this question, it is given that let f and g takes r to r be functions defined by fx equal to this, gx equal to this, where box x denotes the greatest and here less than or equal to x. Then the function f not gx is discontinuous at exactly you have to find the correct choice. First, I will make you understand how to discuss the continuity of composite function of two functions, say f and g. Suppose y equal to fx is also given y equal to gx is second function. And we have to discuss the continuity of f not gx. As usual, we always check the continuity only at doubtful points and doubtful points are those points first we find those points where gx is discontinuous the points where gx is discontinuous at those points f not gx can be continuous also discontinuous also depends upon the question and afterwards we find the values of x for which fx is discontinuous say fx is discontinuous at x equal to alpha beta gamma etc and then we'll find those values of x for which gx takes the value alpha or beta or gamma the values of x for which gx has taken the value alpha or beta or gamma at those values of x also f not gx can be discontinuous at all other points f not gx will be surely continuous it is clear that fx is discontinuous at all negative integral value of x and x equal to 0 also and gx it's very easy to see that left hand limit of gx at x equal to 0 will be 1 but right hand limit at x equal to 0 will be 0 hence gx is discontinuous at x equal to 0 as gx is discontinuous at x equal to 0 hence according to the argument i just now told you according to that argument f not gx can be discontinuous at 0 further because fx is discontinuous at and every negative integral points therefore we will check for what values of x gx is 0 or negative integer this part cannot be 0 or negative integer because for x less than 0 it is sure to be positive number the only this part can be 0 or negative integer and now to find the values of x for which gx is 0 or negative integer i use this x minus 1 whole square minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 this means that is x lies between 0 and 2 Note that this condition is also satisfied for this portion. If by chance I would have got minus 1 to 2, then using this I would say 0 to 2. But it is already 0 to 2 and this condition is already satisfied here. And because we know that f not gx can be discontinuous when gx is 0 or negative in here, and it is clear that this will be 0 if x is 2 or 0 and it will be minus 1 if x is 1 and less than minus 1 is not possible for this and for gx the doubtful point was 0 and gx was discontinuous at 0. 
and 0 is already included in it. Hence, finally we have got the conclusion that the possible points of discontinuity of F0 GX are 0, 1 and 2 only. And now let us discuss the continuity at 0, 1 and 2 1 by 1. Limit x tends to 0 minus f of gx. When x is slightly less than 0, clearly it is near to 1. And keeping this thing in mind, when x is near to 1, the value of this becomes 0. Hence, I can say answer is 0. Similarly, x tends to 0 plus f gx. When x is slightly more than 0, the value of this will be slightly less than 1. Hence, the value of this whole will be slightly less than 0. And when gx is slightly less than 0, keeping this expression in mind, I can say the answer is minus 1. Hence, the function is discontinuous at 0. And second doubtful point was 1. Limit x tends to 1 minus f gx. When x is slightly less than 1, keeping this thing in mind, it will be slightly more than 0. Hence, it will be slightly more than minus 1. And keeping this thing in mind, when x is slightly more than minus 1, the value of this whole becomes minus 1. Therefore, we get minus 1. Limit x tends to 1 plus f g x. When x is slightly more than 1, it is again slightly more than 0. Hence, the value of this is slightly more than minus 1. And keeping this thing in mind, when x is slightly more than minus 1, the value becomes minus 1. Hence, this is also minus 1. And now, f of g1. g1 is clearly minus 1. And keeping this thing in mind, when x is minus 1, the value becomes minus 1. Hence, this is minus 1. Hence, the function is continuous at x equal to 1. And now, the last point to be checked is x equal to 2. Limit x tends to 2 plus when x is slightly more than 2, the value of this is slightly more than 1. Therefore, the value of this is slightly more than 0. And keeping this thing in mind, when x is slightly more than 0, then the value of this becomes 1. Hence, answer is 1. And now, limit x tends to 2 minus f gx. When x is slightly less than 2, the value of this will be slightly less than 1. Hence, the value of this will be slightly less than 0. And keeping this thing in mind, when x is slightly less than 0, this becomes minus 1. Hence, the function is discontinuous at 2. Hence, there are two points of discontinuity. Hence, B becomes a correct choice.